Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi guys, good evening, good evening. Me logran escuchar. Can you hear me? Can you hear me kind of well? Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi, Mr. Castaneda. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Great to see you. Good evening. Hi, Manuel. How are you doing? Edwin, gracias por conectarse. Camilo, how are you, Camilo? How are you doing? Everything good? Mr. Cruz, good evening. Great to see you as well. Give me a oh, well, second. I forgot my camera. Mm -hmm. Let me just turn it on. Oh, it's, my camera is not working. Hold on a second, guys. All right. So, meanwhile, I turn it on. I got, oh, Debra. I saw Lupita too. I saw Debra here. So, Isaías, great to see you as well. Thank you so much, guys. Gracias por unirse. Thank you so much for joining today's uh, session. It's really nice uh, to see you like always there. So give me one sec. Let me just make sure that this is working. All right. So thank you guys. Uh, gracias por unirse. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a blast. How was your week? Was it good? Was it okay? How was your weekend, guys? Did you rest a little? Pudieron descansar un poco? Uh, did you sleep a little bit? Kind of, so-so. How was it? Como estuvo, guys? Did you work? Trabajaron? Did you have to work? I guess that some of you have to work on Saturday and Sunday, right? So what did you do, guys? How was that? There it goes. Okay. All right, guys. So I hope that was all right. Mr. Castaneda, I think, wanted to mention something. <laughs> okay, so no se siente cohibido, you know, so don't feel like... <laughs> Okay, okay me. to do so. No worries. How you doing? How was it? How was your week? Everything uh, good? Very good. My okay. week. week. Uh, my family and me uh, went to the beach. Uh, 
Where did uh, you go? Did you go to La Libertad or did you go to the other one? Uh, other one. Uh, uh, we went to. Did you go to La Costa? Yes, but. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, Hotel Bahía del Sol. Oh, okay, okay. Is it good? Do you recommend it? Should mm. we go? Hi, Carla. Good evening. No, me. Great to see you. No, not so good. Uh, no, 50-50. 50-50. Okay, uh, I uh, think that's I, a, okay. I have uh, another hotel. Oh, okay, sir. So I have heard it's quite famous, but it's really nice to to hear like um reviews right and and of course people's opinion all right well but the good thing is that you spent the time with your family that you rested and that is you know what matters by the end of the day so nice nice to hear that jorge great to see you too carla how you doing did you work manuel did you work on the weekend did you rest descansaron guys durmieron did you sleep a little or not so much in my case, I'm working Saturday, every day. You worked. Okay, and Sunday? Hi, Griselda. Great to see you. Hi, Miss. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hello, oh, hello. Good evening. And Sunday? Oh, rest every day. Rest. Okay. <laughs> so you slept the whole day. I know the uh, feeling. No. It's just amazing to, to rest a little bit, right? Okay, okay, really good, really good. Okay, guys, so uh, thanks a lot. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, today, guys, uh, iniciamos nuestra sesión número 13. We're going to get started with session number 13. Um, en la clase anterior, si se recuerdan, vimos un poquito de recomendaciones. Vamos a reforzar el tema. We're going to just reinforce the topic, uh, check vocabulary. And vamos a trabajar un poquito en escritura today. Uh, normally, escritura es de las cosas que de, we don't do much. Eh, porque pues toma bastante tiempo, right? It takes a lot of time and lo vamos haciendo little by little. But today, uno de los objetivos es poder redactar un correo formal. So we're going to like work on emails. Eh, just in case alguna vez tengan la necesidad de comunicarse con alguien through an email o apliquen a algún empleo and you have to send um, like a sort of email, a thank you letter or algunas veces cuando aplicamos eh, to international jobs eh, nos piden que redactemos, right? That we type something. So vamos a trabajar en cuáles son las, los, los steps, los elementos de un email and vamos a intentar redactar uno. We're going to try to write one, ya sea para pedir permiso or like to share your CV, your curriculum or something like that, right? So, well, guys, with this being said, let's, um, solamente me queda y agradecerles, guys, a los compañeros eh, que avanzaron con la plataforma. En, tengo algunos que ya la completaron. Creo que Yvette por ahí me parece que ya estaba done. So very nice job. And, uh, and gracias, guys, por seguir trabajando con él. Eh, recordarles que el día de mañana es la revisión de la unidad número 3. O la 3 debería de ya estar completa, right? Si alguien tiene problemas con el acceso, please let us know. Pónganse en contacto ya sea conmigo o con los compañeros de soporte para poder ayudarles con los accesos. And uh, que no se les vaya acumulando, right? So, or, or si algún ejercicio que les esté dando problemitas, que ya intentaron todas las formas posibles, and no hay como, eh, it works, let us know too, eh, me pueden decir, lo revisamos en clase, right? Y revisamos tal vez algo que le haya funcionado eh, a alguien, and that was okay. O a veces es más por espacios, por el apóstrofe que eh, no lo toma. Eh, entonces podemos encontrar como un plan B, right? How to work it. Eh, but, but it's important, guys, eh, sin pena, you know, <laughs> que nos digan that you let us know. 
eh, para poder como eh, encontrar la forma, right? To, to solve it in the, the fastest way we can. So, um, guys, ¿han tenido alguna dificultad con algún ejercicio que se recuerden? Is there anything that is giving you issues? ¿Algún ejercicio que ya probaron de todo y no le funciona? It's not working. Si no se recuerdan, lo pueden buscar. You can check it out and you let us know later. Y lo revisamos, right? We can check it out. A veces eh, probando, probando, encontramos la respuesta y, y la podemos compartir. That's very important. Utilicen el grupo también para eso. Pueden compartir si les funcionó algo, right? Tal vez a los demás ya intentaron de todo y solamente era como copiar y pegar and it works. So it's very important. And uh, pueden utilizar el grupo, guys. You can use it. It's for you. <laughs> Se pueden, no se, la idea no es eh, darse la respuesta, right? o, toma aquí está todo, pero sí se pueden ayudar con cosas que estemos teniendo dificultades, right? So, um, let's get started, guys, in that case, uh, and let me know later si tienen alguna pregunta or something with the platform that we can check super quick. Uh, to get started today, I have this little picture that you saw before. It's a here, um, spot the differences. So, tenemos dos pictures. We have two pictures here, pero hay 12 diferencias. There are 12 differences. So, the question is, guys, can you spot them? Las pueden encontrar. Can you find them um, in your phone eh, or in your computer? Siempre tienen activada la opción para anotar en mi pantalla. So, you can write um, on my screen. And I will ask you guys that. Si encuentran una diferencia, if you find one, le pongan una X, so put like a little letter en ambas pictures, right? So, can you see any difference in the pictures? So, there are 12. Hay 12, guys. Solamente pongan una crucita, right? Uh, put like a little cross in both. Uh, so, we know what's going on. Hi, baby. How you doing? Okay, so Luis found a V. Okay. All right. Yeah, so there are two and three. La mano. Oh, okay. So the, like the hand. All right. Oh, okay. 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 There is mail. All right. There is a little bit of snow. Okay. The smile. Ah, okay. The love. It's not the flower, the okay. The flower and the rock, okay. Flower and the rock, very nice, yeah. guys. Eh, so, ustedes pueden tomar el control de mi pantalla. Carlos, I think, found another one. Ah, yes, you're right. There are two, and in the other, there is only one, okay. Oh, what is that? Snor I don't snor see. Snor oh, yeah, there is a little bit of grass here. Mm -hmm. There is some grass. Okay. Okay, the smile. Yes, that's all right. I'm going to count them. Give me one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, but there are twelve. Oh, no, 11 with the log. I haven't noticed oh. with the branch 11. Solo nos falta una, guys. We are missing only one. Very, very nice. That was actually quick. No, ya está todo. Are there 12? Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yes. I didn't see that you had already selected this one. Okay, very nice. That's actually very good. Now, guys, me las pueden explicar. Can you try to explain the differences in English? Can you try to explain what is the difference? So, remember the following. Um, so, in the previous module, eh, vieron, eh, in the previous one, oh, vieron la parte de there is and there are, right? So, we saw the part of There is there are, para describir qué es lo que hay, qué es lo que encontramos. So, there is, espérase. In the picture, uh, in the picture number one, there are three bees. But in the picture number two, there are two. 
Okay, okay, very nice. Ok, guys, ayúdennos, help us. Ya las encontramos, o solamente describanlas, right? Try to describe them. So, Mr. Castaneda already explained the bees. Um, and the picture so, number one, they are in snow. Oh, okay. So in the mountain, there isn't any snow. Okay, okay. Makes a lot of sense. Guys, ¿qué más? Ayúdennos, help us. Eh, Carla, Manuel, David, eh, sir. Solamente explíquenos, right? Try to explain to us what is the difference. Podemos hacerlo con there is, que es para hay, or there are, que es para hay, pero para varios, right? So, uh, help us, guys. Lupita, Debra, help us. I think uh, Griselda help us too a bit. I think I uh, so I have Lisa, yes. Hi, Bane. Hi, Eduardo. Good evening, guys. Camilo, we want to hear Hi, you man. as well. How you doing? Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. Good evening. Great to see you. Good okay. evening. Good evening, there. I hope you're having a nice Monday. Um, so, ¿qué más, guys? Uh, Intenta describirnos unas tres, right? Try to describe a couple of them only. ¿Qué más? What else? Do we have another? For example, and the, yes. And the picture number one, uh, there isn't a flower. Exactly. In the picture number one, there isn't any flowers. So no hay ninguna. There isn't any. Uh, veo a Carla anotando. So Carla, tell us, cuéntenos, ¿qué tiene there? What do you have, Miss? Una he puesto, teacher. No hay problema. Say it, dígala. Uh, there, there is cloud in Sviga. Uh, the cloud, the cloud una, is bigger. Uh, picture in number one. Que hay una, number one. una nube más grande. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So in picture number one, the cloud is bigger. Very good, yes. Guys, tenemos más. Do we have another? Solo traten de explicarla with your own words, right? It can be colors, it can be words, adjectives. Preposiciones también. Remember, we can use in, on next to, uh, behind. So la idea es utilizar todo lo que hemos practicado before, right? Eh, any other? Griselda, ayúdenos con una. Help us with one, please. Con cualquiera de las. You have, um, I still a manner. You have kind of the, the tan or the leg, I think. You have the grass, the trees. So what can you tell us, guys? The hand of the little bird is down and the second one is up. Okay, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Definitely, yes. So here the hand is down and in the other one is like hacking. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, very nice. The, the victorious one uh -huh. is there are three bees. Mm -hmm. And in the picture two. So in picture one, there are three, and in picture three? two, two. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are two exactly. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you so much. So um, it's really important que las cosas, eh, los temas que ya vimos, los vayamos siempre practicando, right? And very nice job with this. So la idea es siempre reciclar everything we have learned. So in the meantime, let's move on a little bit. Very good job. Las encontraron todas. You found them all. And uh, let's move on with the activity we got for the day. Vamos a revisar un poquito la parte de recomendaciones, de para recommendations. And uh, vamos a revisar también eh, some vocabulary for this. Now, let me show you really quick here. Eh, su material, guys, vamos a trabajar un poquito con su manual, with your manual. And, uh, y encontramos este tema, we find this topic in page number 31. 
So number 31 says, react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. So, uh, tenemos esta palabra, guys, que se refiere con behavior, or también la relacionamos mucho con etiqueta, right, with etiquette, uh, que puede ser de forma verbal, right, en un correo, in an email, um, en una llamada telefónica, so in a phone call, or um, anywhere where we are. So, uh, guys, repiten conmigo, repeat with me, this word. This is behavior. Behavior. Yes, that's behavior. What is the meaning behavior. of behavior, guys? What is that? Uh, what's behavior? ¿Alguien ha visto la palabra antes? Have you seen the word before? El comportamiento. Exactly. So behavior. Um, so el objetivo says uh, react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior. So quick question, guys. ¿Cuáles son algunos behaviors que ustedes consideran inaceptables? Uh, or, um, for example, si hablamos del trabajo, if we talk about work, ¿Cuáles son cosas que consideran um, que les molestan? That you consider inappropriate. Impuntuality. Ok, so impuntuality, all right. No tengo nada en la cuenta. <laughs> ¿Sabes por qué no ha llegado? <laughs> Creo que se le quedó abierto el micrófono, Mr. López. <laughs> ok, so impuntuality, all right. ¿Qué más, guys? What, what is like... Um, something that you consider inappropriate. Algo muy inapropiado that people do. Nada, nothing. Nada, nada les molesta, nothing bothers you. Llegar tarde. Llegar tarde. Yes. Yes. Okay, lleguen tarde. It's the same. Uh, uh, after. After. Bueno, es, es igual a, a lo que acaban de decir, ser in, in, in puntual. Impuntual, ok. Llegar But, tarde. Y, y como decir una risa escandalosa. <laughs> ok, like a noisy or a loud laugh. So I'm going to write it down. So something loud. Me, no me describa. So loud laugh. <laughs> ok. Um, de las que decimos que se oyen en la cuadra, right? Ok. So loud laugh, all right. Really? You consider that inappropriate? Okay. Come okay, on, guys. What else? What is something that is kind of rude? Uh, to procrastinate. Oh, procrastinate. Raise your voice. Yes, I like that. Or scream, right? Cuando um, tenemos jefes que gritan, pero de una forma eh, agresiva, so screaming shouting, okay. I'm gonna write the word that Mr. Castaneda says because it's muy importante. It's procrastinate. Guys, this is, creo que es nuestra cultura. I think it's our culture. No es solamente like one or two people. Miss, no what is this? Right? Mr. Castaneda, can you explain to us the meaning of procrastinate? Uh, okay. And when um, a people uh, be late, no, ¿cómo sería? Leave. Eh, en español me sale más fácil explicar. <laughs> But you're trying, you're doing a nice job. Um, it's the culture, the Salvadorian culture, um, that you leave your activities for the last minute. So, uh, for example, si hay tarea, if there is homework, ¿cuál es nuestra cultura normally? Ah, tengo tiempo. <laughs> es para mañana. Yeah, lo voy a hacer mañana. I'll do it tomorrow. So procrastinate is that, right? <coughs> que dejamos todo para el último minuto. Oh, último. Everything. <laughs> yes, it's for the last minute, you know? For example, uh, me tocaba renovar mi licencia, you know? And my birthday was over. And then, el último día, the last day, I was like, oh my God, I have to uh, renew my license. 
I went to Sertrasem and oh, you have no idea. There was a big queue. I had to wait like for three hours. So, and then I was like, I'm also like, I was very happy. You know? <laughs> but it's not culture, I think. Guys, do you procrastinate? Dejan todo para el último momento. Miss, but uh, the, the first days, there is no line. No, the first day there isn't, pero el último sí. But there is a big thing. For example, guys, um, el 31 de abril, I believe, April 31st, es el último día para la renta. It's the last day for the tax return. Now I got a question. ¿Ya declararon? Did you do your tax return? No declaran, guys. No hacen la declaración. You don't no, like yes. do it? ¿Cuándo el último día? April 31st. I mean, el último día de abril, right? The last day of April. And I am, I already did it. Woo! But I'm sure a lot of people are like, no, you know, voy a esperar. I have time. So es nuestra cultura. Guys, give me an emoji si ustedes procrastinan. Give me an emoji if you procrastinate a lot. Si deja todo para el último momento. Just, just to know, give me an emoji, guys. I just want to see like how many of you. <laughs> okay, I just got one. I just got Luis. Nobody else. Teacher, how yes. do you say that? Uh, comentarios en los pasillos. Comentarios en los pasillos. Ah, o sea, los, los la gente rumores. Anda murmurando, ¿no? Ah, los gossips. I don't okay, write it. Then I no. write it. Gossip. Oh, that's a very, very bad behavior. Very yeah. inappropriate. Okay. Pero nos gusta, right? We like gossiping sometimes. It's yeah. communication. <laughs> I know, it's communication. Okay. So gossips, procrastinate. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Nada más les, nada más les, um, you consider inappropriate. En el ambiente de trabajo, there are a lot of things. No, no nothing else. ¿Cómo se dice remember? cuando alguien toma más tiempo en el almuerzo? Uh, okay, so they, there is no word for that, so they, Solo lo toman más tiempo. They take longer times. They take longer. Or tal vez eh, como para ir al baño, right? So toman la cestita and everything. So they take longer breaks. Uh -huh. Oh, really? ¿Por, ¿Por qué es inapropiado? Or ¿Por qué es molesto? Why is it bothersome? ¿Les molesta, guys? Does it bother you? Hypocrisy. Ah, okay. Hypocrite people to face people. Okay. Porque no trabajan, teacher. Pierden el tiempo. <laughs> okay, because they don't work. Okay, okay. Wow. Okay, so hypocrisy. That's it. Okay. You will not see. Oh, you mean like they don't work and you work. Okay, okay. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, very nice. Now, let's take a look at this one. Tenemos acá un par de situaciones que tal vez you will say, oh, yeah, I agree with this. So let's take a look at this one, guys. Eh, practiquemoslo first. Y luego me dicen si están de acuerdo with the conversation or not. Word engagement at work. Bane, eh, what do you mean? ¿A qué se refiere con engagement at work? No sé, como noviazgos en el trabajo. Ah, like romance. Like the, the, the office romance. ¿Cómo sería, Miss? Office romance. Uh -huh. So, office romance. Que de hecho en algunas empresas no está permitido, right? Some companies do not allow it. Um, ¿Por qué es molesto? Why is, well, yes, I agree. <laughs> It's inappropriate. But okay, you, you can give us like some recommendations there. 
Yeah, so office romance. Engagements at work también está bien, solo que engagement ya sería como cuando están casados, right? Um, como trabajar con el esposo o la pareja. And, uh, en Roma se lo es como la primera, let's say. Mm -hmm. But very nice. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this situation. Uh, let me read it for you. And then I can have some volunteers reading it. So it says, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay, guys. So I really like this conversation. Y hay dos cosas que ustedes ya mencionaron here. One is a gossip. Right, están chismeando del compañero, so they are like gossiping about the person, and the other is like the person is addicted to work, right? So, guys, repitan conmigo, please. Vamos a repetir un par de Absolute. words that we have over here. Let me just um, like Understood. underline them. Okay, take a look at this one, guys. Repeat with me, absolutely. 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 Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Polite. Pol polite. 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 Yes. Polite. Now, this one tiene dos pronunciations. Either. We can say either or we can say either. Like you said, prefiero. Yo prefiero either, but it's up to you. So, guys, repita either. conmigo. Either. 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 We should help him instead. What is the meaning of instead, guys? What is this? They are gossiping. Están chismeando. They are gossiping. And they say, agree. We should help him. Deberíamos. Uh -huh. Instead. What is this? Help him. No sé. Ayudarle. Yes, 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 yes. La parte de instead es como en vez de, right? Lo entendemos en como lugar en de. vez de. Mm -hmm. En lugar de, exactly, en vez de. So, because ellos están gossiping, están chismeando, and they are like, no, we should not talk about him. That is not polite. Agree. We should help him instead. It's like, en vez de estar chismeando, deberíamos ayudarle, right? So, we should help him instead. Uh, or instead of um, instead of gossiping, <laughs> we should help him. So, esta expresión es muy útil. We have instead, y la podemos también utilizar con of. Instead of, en vez de, right? So, instead of gossiping, en vez de estar chismeando, instead of gossiping, we should help him. Instead. Instead of... De. Gossiping, en vez de, exactly. So, for example, en vez de estar Facebookando, instead of, you know, Facebooking, uh, debería estudiar, you should study. En vez de, give me more ideas, guys, con instead of. ¿Cuáles son algunos, like, misbehaviors? Por ejemplo, las personas que pasan mucho tiempo eh, en jugando videojuegos, instead of playing, ¿qué pueden hacer en vez de jugar? Instead of playing, they should trabajar. They should work. Okay, yeah, that could be, that could definitely be. Eh, acá habían escrito, por ejemplo, the part of eh, raising the voice. Ok, instead of raising your voice, como en vez de gritar, instead of screaming, instead of shouting, ¿qué deberíamos de hacer, guys? What we should do? 
So instead of shouting, en vez de gritar, ¿qué deberíamos de hacer? Si estamos muy molestos, por example. Instead of shouting. Calm down. We yeah. should, ah, uh, we should calm down. All right. We should calm down. All right. So instead of shouting, we should calm down. Or instead of shouting, deberíamos contar hasta 10. We should count to 10. So usamos mucho la palabra instead of para actividades que hacemos en vez de. Uh, guys, uh, I need to volunteers. ¿Quién quiere leer? Who wants to read? Anybody? Acá los ayudamos, guys. We can help you. Yo, teacher. Perfect. So, Carla, uh, help me with Claudia. And aquí no he escuchado these days. And, uh, da, 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 da. Griselda está con nosotros. Are you with us? Maybe not. Okay, Yvette, ayúdenos con la parte de Raúl, please. Help us with Raúl's part. Okay. Okay. I can't be let it Robert is added to, to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That is not polite. polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite. Yes. Agree. We slow him. Him is staying. Okay. Thank you so much. Very nice. So, guys, very good job, girls. Very nice pronunciation, actually. Y tenemos esa palabra que vimos en la, la clase anterior, right? Que era should. Guys, ¿para qué utilizo should? When am I going to use it? So, esta de acá, right? We should. ¿Para qué usamos should? Do you remember? Como una cortesía. Ok, me, como una cortesía. Could be. ¿Me permites o me ayudarías? Mm, aunque eso sería más el could. Mm -hmm. Como That para sugerir like algo. Could. Yes, yes. Sí, puede ser una cortesía, aunque el should es más como una recomendación, right? Una sugerencia no es una orden. Eh, y sí, es muy polite, pero es una sugerencia. No le estoy diciendo hágalo, sino debería, right? So the person says we should help him. No dice le vamos a ayudar, dice deberíamos, right? So there is a big difference entre deberíamos y hagamos. Now take a look at some situations we have right here. And we are going to practice giving recommendations. Uh, give me one sec. Uh, um, okay. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay, and here in this part, guys, we have how to use should and shouldn't. Look at the words involved and complete the sentences below. Y tenemos el uso de los positivos y los negativos. This is in page, lo tienen en su material, page number 32. En caso no lo logren ver acá, you can always go to your material, page 32. So look at it. Um, guys, uh, who can help me read? Let me see. Lupita, ¿está por ahí? Are you there? Maybe not. All right. Who was not there? Uh, Jorge, are you around? Are you there? Are you working? Guys, se me fueron a dormir. Where are you? <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Jorge, can you help me read? Are you working? Are you, you working? I mean, are you working? ¿Está trabajando ahorita? Are you working right now? No, teacher. Oh, all right. So can you please help us read eh, las positivas que están acá? Like this little chart. This ones, please. Okay. Uh, the word should answer my good morning greeting. Okay. Linda shows great with a firm 
handshake. Okay. The supervisor mm -hmm. should use a greeting in his email. Okay. You should say please when you ask for a fiber. Thank you very much. Very good. Um, Eduardo, are you there? You just in casa. Are you home? Eduardo. Hola, teacher. There you go. Aún está en camino. Sí, teacher. Oh, okay. No worries then. Cuando llegue a su casa. So when you get uh, to your house, just be careful, please. Um, who else is here, guys? ¿Quién está por acá? Vane, Camilo, ¿están por acá? Uh, Isaías, are you here? Yes, my teacher. All right, perfect, perfect. So, eh, Miss, help us, please. Ayúdenos, Isaías. Oh, Isaías, ayúdenos a leer las negativas. Help us read negative, please. Isaías, ¿cómo está su conexión? How is your internet? Sí, está bien. Las negativas son donde dice Darío. Mm -hmm. Yes, Darío. This one. Darío should not use money emojis. Emojis? His, emojis is his email. Ok. Helen should not speak so loudly. Loudly? Loudly. Yes. Gabriel should not tell sexy hockey. Jokes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your boss should not shoot. Shout. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Isaias. Very nice. Okay, guys. So take a look at this vocabulary and revisamos really quick what they mean. Number one, we have the word loudly. Guys, repeat and conmigo. Loudly. Loud. Loudly. 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 All right. Next one. Sexist. 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 Jokes. Jokes. All right. Jokes. So, estamos hablando de uh, like jokes. jokes, right? So, we are talking about bromas relacionadas con discriminación por género, right? Um, in the sense that ah, uh, las mujeres se caen, or los hombres se caen, right? So sexist jokes. So Gabriel shouldn't tell sexist jokes. Um, no se refiere a nada más, sola, solamente la, la cuestión de género, right? Uh, your boss should not shout at you. Guys, no sé si a ustedes alguna vez les ha pasado que el jefe les grita, but I think in general, bosses should not shout at us, right? So that is not something that they should be doing. Um, ¿Están de acuerdo con esas recomendaciones? Are you in agreement with all of them? Yes, agree. Yes, I agree. agree. Okay. I really like them, de hecho. I really like them, especially this. You should say thank you or please when you ask for a favor. I think it's... Um, Una regla general, right? A cultural rule. All right, guys. So here uh, we have a couple of situations. Solamente como recordatorio, should no permite cambios en el verbo. Así que si utilizamos ella, el, terceras personas, nunca cambiamos el verbo. Take a look at these situations. It says, provide a suggestion about the next situations at work. And we have these ones. For example, we have four. Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. Y acá tenemos un ejemplo de la recomendación. Peter should ask polite requests. Or Peter should say please when he asks for something. Que es lo más común, right? Si pido algo, I have to be polite. Uh, next one. When Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. So guys, what is the meaning of shout? Get a shout? Gritar. Gritar, exactly, Grit. shouts, right? Like, Griselda, come here. <laughs> so shouts, <laughs> right? That is the one. Um, so, ¿qué recomendación le darían? ¿Qué recomendaciones come to your mind right there? 
Next one says, my assistant never uses a salutations in her email. ¿Qué es una salutation? Como querida Carla, querido licenciado, querido, I mean, like una introducción, right? Un Salud. saludo. Yes. So my assistant never uses a salutation in her email. Do you have any recommendation for that? Or like, para mejorarlo, right? To improve it. Y la última dice, Lucy. La, likes to tell jokes. Guys, ¿qué significa jokes? What is that? Chiste o broma. Chistes, bromas, mm -hmm. right? Eh, ah, es lo mismo, así que pueden ser pesadas o solamente chistes normales. She louds. Very loud. De hecho, I think, creería que hay un error con esta palabra. Cause se refiere a que ella se ríe. And that is she laughs. Right? She laughs eh, loudly. Se ríe, pero, you know, estrepitosamente. And like a lot of people hear her. So, ¿qué recomendaciones tienen? What recommendations do you have for these people, guys? What's your recommendation uh, with them? Let's take a look. Um, for example, for number two, when Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Number two, guys, ¿qué recomendación tienen para, P para Carl? So, él grita, he shouts. Carl should calm down. Okay, he should calm down, debería tranquilizarse. Okay. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? What else? Carl should never shout to his colleagues. I very good. He should never shout to his colleagues. All right. O si no deberíamos de llamar a Griselda y que nos ayude con la demanda. <laughs> we should call Griselda for the for the lawsuit. <laughs> okay. Um, ah, Griselda, I know it. So, nos puede dar recomendaciones here in the legal area. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> he shouldn't do it. Guys, ¿qué más? Ayúdenme, help us here. Eh, que tome un curso para tratar mm -hmm. bien al personal. That is very important. So, ¿cómo digo él debería tomar un curso? How can I say that? He should. He should. Mm -hmm. Take. Yes. <laughs> Guys, ayúdenos. Help us. Podemos irla completando juntos. Eh, so he should me, take. Yes, eh, miss. Cap capacitación. Training. 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 Mm -hmm. Like, él debería de ir a capacitación or something yeah. like mm -hmm. that. Okay. The training. He should go. Él debería ir. He should go to a training. Okay. Eh, mm, como de personal. No sé. Okay. So, he should go to a training. Podemos decir de customer service, you know. So he should go to oh, yes, porque customer service personal training. Es parte de, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Como un cliente también. That is right. So he should go to a customer service training. Or ahora no sé si dan unos cursos de control de enojo, like anger management. No sé si hay en el país, but sería una buena opción, right? That could be a very nice option as well. Eh, ¿Qué más, guys? Any other recommendation? Maybe teacher Carl should be patient. Ah, yes, he should be patient. He's not, but he should be patient. Yes, very good. Okay, sounds really nice. Number next, my assistant never uses a salutation in her email. ¿Tienen alguna recomendación para my assistant? Do you have any recommendation for her?
Remember, yes. David? He should take a, a mm -hmm. course of grammatical. Oh, okay. So she should take a grammar course. Okay. Yeah, that works. So she should take a grammar course. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Miss, así se, es de la contracción de chao con la. Shouldn't. Déjenme ver si lo escribí. Yes. Sí, la, 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 la aprendimos la semana. Yes, sí. yes, yes. That is shouldn't. Mm -hmm. So she should take a grammar course. ¿Qué más, guys? Anything else you want to add here? She should be more polite. Uh, she should be more polite. Yes. Okay. She should be more polite. All right. That's okay. Uh, make the recommendation uh, that all males has to go with the greeting differs. Okay. Yeah. So you should give her the recommendation to include the greeting. Okay. In the greeting first. The greeting yes. First. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay. What else? Anything else? Okay. I think that, that that's actually very nice. The recommendations are really, really good and really valid. Guys, vamos con la última. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office y se, se ríe escandalosamente. So, what is your recommendation? This happens to me, you know, so tengo una risa muy escandalosa and I'm like, guys, deme recomendaciones. Give me some recommendations. What should I do? Any idea, any recommendation, anything you cannot hear? She's, she's so lighter, modern than your voice. Okay, yeah. so she should, debería de aprender, ¿verdad? She should learn. Um, moderar su voz. Okay, so she should learn to moderate her voice, okay. Yes. ¿Qué más, guys? Anything else? Uh, I make the recommendation that it is not correct come back very high. It is not correct to? O sea, que no es correcto, reírse muy alto. Ah, o sea, okay. La, la recomendación de que no es muy correcto, reírse muy okay. alto. Como estamos... Like, debería de hablar con ella. You should talk to her. Yes. Ah, ok. So you should talk to her. Ok. Más oh. que cuando somos bien amigos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Así directo. No te rías mucho. <risa> <risa> no te rías muy así. Oh, ok. Manuel me diera miedo si fuera mi jefe. <risa> no, porque cuando es así, cuando se trata de hablar con el personal es muy diferente. Ok. Ya se habla con más cortesía. Ah, ok. No así, no like that. No, así no. Así es solamente cuando son bien amigos, amigos. Oh, ok. Ok, I was like, oh my God. <risa> yeah, that was very direct. Ok, but that sounds good. ¿Qué más, guys? Uh, de yeah. este cuadro. Sí, sí, sí. Why? Perdón, me estoy preguntando entonces. Era solo por el ejemplo, mi ah, no, okay. Era más fácil. No. Es que when you say she should find another job, la primera que se me ocurrió es quizás como payaso, or like in, ah, mm. como en eventos, like in events, I don't know. Como uh, las personas que son amenizadoras, por ejemplo, that they have a lot of energy. Uh -huh. I thought Porque, about it. No, le voy a poner un ejemplo. 
en, generalmente en los restaurantes, ya me sé, bueno, voy a hablar de Pizza Hut. Okay. Ahí, eh, quitando un poquito los chistes, haciéndolos a un lado, uh -huh. eh, buscan gente extrovertida, que se ríe, yes. que, que, que no le dé pena. Y ahí, que, que cae bien ella. Ok, ah, ok, exactly. So, yo pensé más en el área como de eventos, you know, like eh, sí. los que son conductores, uh -huh, and they laugh a lot, and they have energy. Ok, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense. En, 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 en la bolsa también, le gusta gritar bastante. En la bolsa. En la bolsa de valores. Ah, pero hay en El Salvador. Is there like Ay, a... hay, pero no, 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 no la corren igual. Ajá, uh -huh. no, hecho, no está sí, famosa no sé. tampoco. No. No, en, uh -huh. en Estados Unidos, sí. Creo que es en ilegal. Brasil, el, el, la bolsa de valores. ¿En El Salvador? No. no. Lo que pasa es que los, los esquemas piramidales o, o, o se prestan mucho para timo, ahí sí. Ya. Yeah. Es Pero que recuerdo cuando... un caso, like a long time ago, like 15 years ago, and terminaron en la cárcel. They ended up in jail. So. Ok. Sí, lo que pasa okay. Es que engañan. Yeah, it's very dangerous. It's very risky. Pero incluso hay corredores de bolsa de, 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 de empresas por más de que el que le gusta arriesgarse dinero puede de repente ganar. Ah, claro, claro. Es que es un 50-50, right? So, mm -hmm. you never know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, but very nice with the recommendations. A very good job with that. So, uh, obviously, uh, we are just like going over um, Solamente un par de recomendaciones, un par de estructura. Y ahora sí, guys, vamos a intentar tratar. We're going to try to make a conversation eh, dando recomendaciones. Let me show you. Les estoy presentando otro. Give me one second. Les presento los temas. Let me just present the topics here. And uh, we are going to select one of these topics, right? Y vamos a intentar tener una conversación. Obviamente, la idea, guys, siempre es eh, utilizar vocabulario nuevo, no solo lo que ya conocen. Intenten agregar palabritas nuevas, new words, palabras que acaban de ver. Because um, that way, practicamos vocabulario y lo incrementamos. So, take a look at these situations. I have four, five recommendations I'm looking for, or five situations. Number one says, I feel sad. What should I do? I want to protect the environment, right? Como el clima, el, el ambiente, el medio ambiente, right? The area. But I don't know how. What should I do? Next one says, I am always late. Ustedes hablaban de la puntualidad. And the person says here, I am always late. What should I do? Next one says, I keep losing my credit card. Como cuando perdemos cosas, right? So I keep losing my credit card. What should I do? Y la última, I have a red nose. Como cuando tenemos alergia, like when you have allergies or flu. I have a red nose. What should I do? So vamos a crear first. First thing first. Escojan uno. Select one topic. Y vamos a intentar, guys, crear una conversación. We're going to try to make a conversation utilizando esa pregunta. So, imagine, for example, que yo escoja la, la primera. Right? And uh, imagine that I see you, right? And uh, Carla, imagínese que usted, eh, usted me encuentra y yo estoy triste. So... Comencemos desde el hi. <ríe> Ayúdeme, Carla, con la conversación. So... Hi, Miss. Hi, Carla. How are you? Very nice. Intenta seguirle. Try to continue. Very nice. In... Hi. Pregúnteme a mí. Ask me. Ask me. Mm, pregúnteme. Ask me. Very nice. And you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Intenta, intenta seguirla. So, pero seguirla means like me puede preguntar. You can ask me questions and un back and forth. Uh -huh. En so, base a la, a la primera. No, y... no, no. No, like 
Solo Está... intente seguirla. Ajá, just try to continue. Sam? So, let's, let's, let's get started. Let's get started one more time. Intente seguirla, ¿verdad? Right? Como cualquier eh, pregunta. Es bastante común que si le pregunto cómo está, usted me... Como... Um, es recíproca. So you're like, ah, you said cómo está, right? That's very common. Okay. So one more time. So Carla. Hi. How are you, Carla? Well, very nice. How are you, Miss? Um, I'm not okay. Sí, a mí es como en español que queremos toda la información, right? <laughs> en all the gossip. <laughs> so continue, ask me. Pregúnteme, ask uh, me. Uh, okay, how was your day? Um, it was not good. I'm feeling really sad. Guys, ayudemos a Carla. You can help her. You can give her some ideas. So, ¿cómo seguirían? How would you continue the conversation? You can, pueden preguntar, you can ask. So, no dejen morir la conversación. Try, try to <laughs> ask, try to ask. Maybe, so, where are you going? Where I am going? Yeah. Um, well, I am at home. Um, no, I'm not going anywhere. Um, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Why? I feel sad. Uh, you sure uh, go to the chore? Um, um, but there isn't any church near my house. Oops. Guys, ayuden, ayuden, help us, help us, help us. If you don't have a church near to your house, just pray to Jesus, right? Oh, yeah, I think I can do that. Yeah, but, but what happened? Um, Why you are sad? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have money. That's not a reason to be sad. But I feel sad. What do you want to buy? Um, no, I want to travel. <laughs> How do you want to travel? Just imagine, close your eyes and try to 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 sleep. No. To dream that you are in the airplane and you are <laughs> to the Machu Picchu, for example. I love that. It funciona, does it work? That was a really nice recommendation. Oh my God. Muy buena solución, you know. That was a really good solution. So, guys, um, if you don't like, uh, really get it pueden hacer más preguntas you always can uh, try to ask more questions podemos agregar like why right veíamos también si se recuerdan la ex pregunta que les mostraba in the previous class cuando hablamos de enfermedad o de sentimientos podemos preguntar what is wrong right qué te pasa cuál es el problema so no utilizo what is the problem sino what is wrong también puedo usar, what is the problem? That's okay. What is the problem? So, siempre, like, intenten no dejarla morir, right? Como en español que preguntan, ¿y qué pasó? You know, ¿cuándo? ¿Dónde? So, intentemos hacer lo mismo. Try to do the same. Porque eso me va a dar, you know, que siga la conversación. The conversation ah. continues. ¿Y Mr. Casaneda? What's going on? No, lo que pasa es que el meme dice, ¿cuántas tortillas te comes? Eso es como para no dejar morir la plática. <risa> Había escuchado ahí. ¿Te gusta el queso? No, no, no. Yeah. Pero esa es la idea, right? So, una conversación se va a morir cuando usted ya no, no, no interactúe. Pero usted siempre puede preguntar, why, when, where. 
and you and, and you can continue, you know, the conversation. So guys, vamos a intentar hacer lo mismo. Really big thing. Si necesitan escribirlo, it's okay. You can do it. Pero si creen, si pueden, si quieren intentar, guys, agregar más vocabulario, irse, ir siendo más independiente, and ir despegando a little bit more, intenten no escribirlo. Si se fijan, toda la conversación se va con cosas que ustedes ya saben decir, right? How are you? I'm okay. I'm sad. I'm happy. I am thinking. So, son cosas que las podemos decir. Y ahí agregamos esto, right? Uh, for example, uh, if I ask you, oh, look at my nose. My nose is red. Oh, ya describí muchas cosas y ya podemos seguir la conversación. Yes, you should go to the doctor. You should get some uh, bit of grip, right? So la idea es seguirla, continue the conversation. Um, guys, vamos a practicar. We're going to practice it again. Si lo quieren escribir, no hay ningún problema. Do it. That's fine. Y si creen que pueden ir despegando un poquito más o intentarlo al menos, intenten escribir tal vez solo una palabra y sigan, right? Try, try, guys. Díganlo en español y se van ayudando entre los dos. Eh, remember, aprender idiomas es ayudarse. So, help each other. And hay una frase muy importante que es cuando yo le enseño a alguien más, yo aprendo. So, guys, cuando ustedes le explican a alguien, cuando ustedes le ayudan a alguien, usted aprende mejor. So, you learn better. So, vamos a, escojan un tema nada más. Select one of this. E intentemos crear una conversación corta, right? A short conversation. Pero si les da para más, you know, sigan. Why? When? Where? Utilicen también el traductor si lo necesitan. Um, háganse la pregunta en español y entre los dos la arman, etc. So, vamos a intentar eh, to make one of this. Creo que algunos compañeros todavía no han llegado a la casa. So, let me know, guys, si en algún momento el compañero eh, está ahí, pero en espíritu, you know, <laughs> just to make sure y que no los dejen solos, right? Because es bien importante que practiquemos. So, vamos al grupo. Let's go to the groups. Tenemos un par de minutitos. Eh, si la terminan y ya no hayan más que decir, vuelvan a iniciar. Start over. Comiencen con otra pregunta. Agreguen más vocabulario. Vamos, guys. Let's go to the groups, please. Let's go there. Select one and try to continue the conversation. Creo que solo Edwin is not there. Chicos, ¿alguien más ven camino a su casa? Are you going home? ¿O ya llegaron? So there, Edwin was not. Eduardo, buen camino. Mr. Cruz está con nosotros. Hey, Luis. O oh, está en camino. Are you working? Creo que también va de camino, Picho. Probably, right? ¿Usted ya llegó, Eduardo? Are you home? Ahorita, ahorita, Picho. Hey, very nice. I'm glad to hear that. Ok, bye. Terminé de like, get ready y me avisa para, eh, para que se pueda unir al grupo y también practicamos un ratito, right? So we okay. can practice a little. Thank you. ¿Qué más está acá? Who else is here? Camilo. Camilo is there. Okay, Debra. Debra, are you with us? Teacher, sometimes I have problems with their rooms. Um, does the internet kick you out? Uh huh. Oh, that's bad. Okay. And I don't know why, because I don't love the the other. I don't know if it's the other app with rooms, but for me, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Well, but, but that's totally fine then. I think that in the meantime, so we can practice a little bit here. That's fine. Okay. And Eduardo is almost, uh, you know, ready. So that's, that's all right. Okay. 
Um, so if you want, we can practice here. So uh, meanwhile, the rest of the guys finish in the, in the rooms. Um, is there any of this that you would like to, uh, to select? Is there any of these questions you like to select? Um, I keep losing my credit card. What should I do? Okay. Do you want to, yeah, you should give some recommendations. So, okay. So we're going to like get it started the same, the same way. Um, imagine that this is just like a high thing and then I'm going to try to tell you that I'm having this problem with my credit card and you try to give me some, some ideas, some recommendations. So, um, let me just get started here. So, hi, Deborah. How is your day? How are you doing? Hi, um, it was great. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, so how is your work? Is it going well? Um, for today, it was very hard because I did many things. Oh, what did you do? Um, I was checking some information about, um, I don't know how do you say in English, abono. Um, oh. it's not, it's try, a, to, try to go, I'll try to continue. Yeah, it's a, it's a project when you uh, help um, other people, uh, poor people that doesn't okay. have enough um, benefits. Or oh, they, they, you're talking about fertilizer. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, I thought you were talking about, <laughs> I was thinking about pro bono. I was thinking about money. Okay. Oh, with fertilizer. Very nice. Sounds good. And are you uh, finished working right now or are you still working? Uh, no, I, I am in my house. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, but for today, we with my coworker, we did many things, but we started started to 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 make a report because you have to 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 say what what things are good and no. Uh, okay, so like uh, like a feedback, like the feedback for the project. For example, uh, yes, because we 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 work as a content. No, as an auditor teacher, mm -hmm. and okay. you have to say the mistake and how to write it. Or I don't know how do you say y cómo solventarlos to solve how them. to solve them. Uh -huh. So you don't work for the city hall. Yes, of course. Okay, so but I mean, um, what I want to ask was like. You are not like um like a city hall accountant, but you are like the city hall audit. Yes. Ah, uh -huh. uh, okay, okay. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, and the good thing is that you can help other people, so you can help them with the government projects. So that sounds good. Is it boring? Um, kind of. When it's many. Many paper do you have to check check it? Oh, okay. Well, what do you check? Like the documentation, um, the ID? Yes, the ID. Um uh, I don't know how do you say uh, the so eco es, es un estudio socioeconomico. Um that is the uh, wait, that is the economical evaluation may uh -huh, yes the economic evaluation and if you you have to know the the activities that the people do for example mm -hmm. uh, um if they are i don't know how do you say agriculture teacher farmers okay uh-huh and cuáles son sus ingresos and it depends the the economical activity. Uh -huh, of course, uh, if, if they have um, less than 300 maybe a, a month, mm -hmm. uh, son como beneficiados. Oh, okay. So depending on how much money they make, uh, they can like get into this benefit. Yes. Oh, 
I thought that it was for everyone. So it looks like it isn't. I, I don't know what is the meaning of this. No, I mean, um, I thought that the, the fertilizer that the government sent, I thought that everyone could apply for it. Um, I didn't know there was um, this uh, economical evaluation before giving them um, this benefit. Yeah, it had two programs to, okay. to help for um, food. I don't know. To... Food? Yes, uh, give, give them, give them um, like breakfast, lunch, lunch? sugar. Oh, okay. This is the one. Like from goods. Program. Oh, goods. okay. Goods. And the mm -hmm. program is to give them, give them um, abono. I don't know how to say abono. F fertilizer. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Fertilizer. Uh -huh. I read it here. Um, fertilizer. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. So if anyone can apply for these two, pro um, these two programs. If you are a desco member yes ah okay okay so there uh -huh. are there are some restrictions yes oh okay okay but that sounds like a very nice thing okay do you like it do you like your job yes i love it but in some cases i hate it because uh, my boss is very lazy and okay. we, we have to do everything and for example oh. Last week we checked uh, around forty folders. Okay. Uh huh, and it was very. I don't know how so, to say. It. Oh, okay, so it was. Um, you can say actually there is not like a word for that, but you can say um uh, there was a lot of paperwork. Okay. Yeah. Wait. There is another way to say it, but I've forgotten it. You have to oh, check it's... the time, the ID, um, mm -hmm. the, 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 the the evaluation, the... I guess. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But uh, who decides if they um, get this benefit? Is it you? Is it the major? No, it's a, it's a major. Oh, okay. But it's so, a, a, a law, like Law? Mm -hmm. Law, oh, okay. Law. Mm -hmm. Some, um, I don't know, re reglamento, I don't know what they say in English. Yeah, there are some rules, some restrictions, some policies. Yeah, some restrictions, yeah. Okay. Well, but that sounds amazing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, there, there. Uh, um. Let me see. Ten. Ten. Ten thousand benefits. Ben benefits. Uh huh. Ten thousand benefits. Uh, benefits. you mean like people, people with yeah. benefits? Yeah. Oh, but yeah, uh, let me see if I can, we can use beneficiaries. Um, I'm not quite sure. Let me check. I'm not a hundred percent sure. And I don't want to lie. So, beneficiary. Ah, yes, beneficiary. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, okay. So, you said 10,000? Yes. But not in one day. No, no, no. You you um pick up the I don't know uh, una muestra. A sample. For example, if there are ten thousand, you take um, and a half or less than ten thousand because it's many. Mm -hmm. Many people. So a lot of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can use the word sample. So sample normally is like para las muestras, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds quite fine. All right. Actually, that sounds really good. 
<clears throat> Deborah, you communicate quite well. Oh, thank you, teacher. You have a lot of vocabulary and uh, yeah, your pronunciation I... sounds really nice. Thank you. But it's too complicated to express uh, my idea. I maybe, totally get it. But... Yeah, maybe, maybe when you are talking with someone else, you think in Spanish and you want to translate all the things that are you thinking. Are you translating right now? No. <laughs> okay. But that's nice. So if you're not translating, that is perfect. So because that means that automatically you are talking. So um, but in some cases, teacher. Sometimes you tend to translate. Uh-huh. Okay. Maybe when I want to talk more uh, technical, I don't know. Mm, but the thing, yes, for example, now that you're telling me a little bit about your job. Yes, there are some words that are necessary, but that is more like a vocabulary thing. So, hay palabras que obligatoriamente se las va a tener que memorizar. You will need to memorize them or it's going to get it kind of hard. Um, but quick question. Um, ha considerado tomarse el examen de, de, de evaluación or did you take an evaluation test? No, I didn't take it. Uh, porque con, I, I started study English with Lupita and okay. I don't know I support her and okay. that's the reason why I'm here but I would like to to improve my knowledge I know some things in English uh, okay. or many grammar but I don't know I am learning many new words with you and the, with others and uh, teachers oh okay so you want to go like a step by a step mm -hmm. Because I, I think that you communicate. I was well. Thinking about Lupita, she mm -hmm. she doesn't want to continue. <laughs> and oh no! She don't, don't doesn't want to continue. I don't have a reason to be here, right? Maybe get mm. the, the the exam and know be what level. Because I think that you're yeah. Um, I mean. I think that you can improve a little bit because, uh, you know, in higher levels, like obviously um, they are going to, um, what, how can I say that? That it doesn't sound the way, it sounds the one way in my head and it sounds another way when I say it the way. <laughs> the thing is that the, the higher levels are more demanding. So I think that, um, you can get this thing um okay well whatever lupita decides which i really hope that she decides to continue with us or continue studying english if it is not with us like somewhere else but um my biggest recommendation i think for you would be just to um make simple best a little bit stronger um like try to get as many verbs as possible you know in past so you can communicate past events and then uh, i would definitely recommend you to take the evaluation because i think that you have a big potential you communicate really nicely and i think that um like a like an upper module uh, could be a little bit more demanding for you and uh, that would be very challenging too so you should consider um, that how many how many levels are you in? There are six in each of them. Six basic, six intermediate, basic. and six advanced. Maybe um level six and basic, no. Um uh, there has to be an evaluation because uh, in basic uh, to give you an idea, basic mm -hmm. levels, um si se debe de comunicar and in uh, presente pasado futuro so you need to give ideas okay. um for intermediates se debe de comunicar con estructuras un poco más avanzadas you know oh comparativos es de básico so you have to be able to compare entonces la evaluación es eso le mide como que es lo que puede hacer um so far and le busca el nivel que Eh, donde va a reforzar el tema that you need to reinforce. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
but I think yeah, I think that it could be a good um a good chance, right? Para que usted también se mida. So you could um check like measure how much you've learned and it a part of day. But but nice. That's actually very nice. Hi guys. How you doing? Thank you so much for coming back. Thanks everybody for joining back. Really nice to have you here. Give me just a second. Um, all right, so guys, como les fue? Quick question. Um, ¿Pudieron seguir la conversación or se murió en algún momento? Did it die at some point? Or were you able to, pudieron avanzarle un poquito, were you able to keep it going? ¿Cómo les fue, guys? How was it? Sobrevivió, did it survive? Sobrevi Carla? Sobrevivimos. Surviving. Yes. <laughs> en español hablamos <laughs> bastante. <laughs> en español. Pero full English. Did it survive in English? Uh, no, that is medio English. <laughs> okay, but guys, de eso se trata, you know. Remember at the, um, en los niveles eh, iniciales, in basic levels, um, lo que más nos va a costar es el miedo. So what we have to um, face, de hecho es el miedo a equivocarse. Entonces, it's fine, equivoquense, right? Comuníquense como puedan, pero inténtenlo. So that, that's the point right now. Una vez pase eso, a quitarse el miedo, entonces ya empezamos a trabajar con estructuras, en vocabulary, en fluidez, and the rest. But that is the idea right now, right? Que lo que puedan decir en inglés, lo digan. So you say it, no importa si está bien, si está mal. Igual lo corregimos, we correct it, and we check. Uh, but very nice. I'm really glad. Guys, ¿cómo les fue los demás? How was it? Si les sobrevivió la conversación, were you able to continue? ¿La pudieron seguir? Yes? Yes, miss. Okay, very nice. Yes. Sounds really, really good. Okay, yeah, like little by little, guys. Pueden ir preguntando, pidiendo más detalles, and there we go. So, let's have just uh, some people here. Let me see. Um, Tengo algún voluntario? Do I have any volunteer? Or a big team? So, volunteers? No volunteers. Okay, let me check. So, my right. the first, oh, perfect, right. Yvette, amazing, <laughs> amazing. Okay, um, so Yvette, no, let's do it. Vamos a improvisarlo. We're gonna improvise it, because al final, um, I used to tell my students, you know, cuando vayan al Tunco, cuando vayan a otro país, no le va a decir, ay, déjeme buscar mi cuaderno, right? Espérame, lo voy a escribir. Sino la idea, ajá, espérame que lo voy a buscar primero. So la idea es, um, por eso, irse comunicando, you know, anyway. So, okay, but ¿cuál practicaron? Which of these situations did you select? I had already know, but sure, I do. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to tell you like um, so I am the one with the red nose right. You send me the recommendations. You give me some recommendations. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Comenzamos desde el high. <laughs> Let's get started from the high. Okay. Hi Manuel. How are you? Hi Yvette. How are you? Yo quería tener la conversación con usted, Miss. <ríe> y me sentí ignorada. No, Vamos es que continúe. No, sigue con, sigue con Manuel, no okay, problema. Okay, no. Okay. Okay. <ríe> Hay que hacer mucha habla. Hoy nos toca a nosotros. Vamos, de, go, 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 okay. no problem. Go, Manuel. Iniciemos otra vez. <laughs> okay. Hi, Manuel. How are you? Hi, Yvette. How are you? How are you? you? I have a red nose. What should I do? 
Ah, really? And you should is the doctor to get checked and prescribe medication. It may be the flu or allergy, but if you want, you can take a chamomile tea or lemon tea with honey to make you be better. And you must rest. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice sí ir al doctor? Uh, I go to uh, the doctor. I, I will uh, go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. I go to the work. Oh, doctor. Oh, really? Good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Nice. Very nice. Kudos. Very good job. That's really nice. Manuel, so no super bien. It sounded really nice. Bien natural. Yvette, I'm very happy, sir. That sounded so no muy claro. That was very clear. Muy buena pronunciación. Congrats. I'm really happy, miss. So I'm really glad. That sounded really good. Good as for you guys. Okay, guys, who's next? Next, next, next. Okay, I think I have uh, David. So David, quien era su compañero? Who was your partner? Ah, let me take a look. Uh, I guess ah. it was Luis, I guess. Oh, let me see, let me see. Uh, yes, Lupita and, and Mr. Castaneda. Okay, very nice. So guys, what was the situation you selected? What did you select? And all was late. La que se atravesara. Always late. Oh, I'm always late. Okay, okay, very nice. So, la prepararon or la improvisamos? Or you want to practice with them? Improve. So you can improvise. Eh, Lupita, ¿está por acá? Are you around? Yes. Perfect, perfect, Miss. Okay, so uh, guys, whenever you are ready. Hi, David. Hey. Hello. How are you, Lupita? I am fine. You? I'm cool this time, but. Mm -hmm. eh, this week ago was terrible for the traffic. I'm always late. What should I do? I think we lost uh, Lupita. So, um, are, are you there? Come here. Eh, Miss, le soy honesta, no le entendí nada. No puedo me hace como Oh, a David. Yeah. Oh, okay. No worries. No worries. So, uh, but. Creo que es la situación que practicaron, right, David? Ya te dije sí. que no me han dejado hablar. Sí. Ah, okay. practicamos tráfico. otra cosa. El tráfico. Eh, well, la que David menciona es esta que dice, I am late. Right? Ok, vaya Lupita, let's, let's get started. So, iniciamos. So, David, he says that he is always late because of traffic, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so, and then uh, he was like, what should I do? Solamente le está pidiendo recomendaciones. No sé si practicaron esta. Eh, si no, no guys, igual no hay problema, no worries. Vamos a, a improvisarla. We're going to improvise it a little bit. Um, so, intenta darle recommendations, Lupita, like, ¿qué puede hacer? Mm -hmm. What you should show, he do? You show a, wake up early. Okay. And 
and you said a motorcycle. Okay. For, um, for, uh, for the the water work. Okay. Um, Sundays. Oh, all right. Yeah, I I get up and wake up early, but the traffic every day is very difficult over here in a popa for the real integration. Oh, oh. Um, mm -hmm. it's difficult. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I take I take two or three hours for arrive my job. Are you serious? I, yes. Yes. Um, I take the bus. Use trip bus. Oh okay. ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Remember, go, to, huh? go to the work. Yeah. You take three buses. Yes. yes. But I remember you ride a motorcycle. No, I can drive motorcycle. I don't like it motorcycle. You can't. Oh my god! So I confuse it. I confused you probably with somebody. I guess. <clears throat> but wait, you are, are you serious? Like you take two or three hours? Yeah, wait. seriously. I oh, take the bus maybe yeah. 10 mm -hmm. minutes before five or five, five, 10, five, 15. Mm -hmm. And I arrive my job at eight o'clock or eight, 15. Oh, what time do you start working at eight? What time? Sure. What time do you start? Sure, sure at five. You should. Sure oh, excuse, excuse me. Sure. At eight. You should be at uh, seven. What? You should be at seven? Yes, but I. Wow. I at eight. Oh my God. Okay. So, significa it means that you should leave your house at four in the morning. Yes. Wow, is, uh, that's that's too much, I think. Okay. Teacher, okay. you yes. know the uh, the La Gloria? Yes. Okay. I I woke up very early today and mm -hmm. I was driving around 5 a.m. and the La Gloria Street it mm -hmm. was uh very Boy? crowded. Wow. Yeah. Five, okay. five a.m. teacher, five a.m. and the and the traffic was very very crowded. There are many traffic until um el redondel integración to la gloria. It was uh disgusting for me. Oh, but I believe it's because of the um. I think that you're making like a bypass, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, that, that is oh, very very that's really bad okay so i'm sorry i'm really sorry to hear that guys um wow david that's a big sacrifice but but hopefully lo terminen rápido and it sea más rápido for you to get home as well so hopefully that's what everybody hopes Thank you guys, very nice job. So Lupita, very good job with the recommendations. You did it, that was really nice. David, very good job giving more details and more explanation. Thank you for Thank that. You. Ooh, that was really good. All right, guys, and now, um, unfortunately we couldn't listen to the rest, but I really hope tomorrow we can, you know, hear the rest of you practicing, right? Probably with different topics and vamos a estar reciclando esos temas para que también vayamos recordando y no se nos olvide there is, there are, should, could, and all of them. And guys, vamos a revisar like un poquito de la parte de emails, right? Because um, normally, eh, escritura toma un poco de tiempo, it takes a lot of time, but vamos a hacer like correos fácil as we're going to try to write super short and straight to the point emails uh quick question escriben correos guys do you write emails yes miss you do okay escriben en inglés do you write english emails no no nobody no solo el hello 
oh, okay. <laughs> uh, pero nunca han escrito, like, yeah, un correo. Yeah. For business. Yeah, best Jorge? regards. Uh, yeah, best ah, regards. ok, ok, best regards. Ok. So, Jorge, ¿usted se escribe correos, eh, business emails? Yeah, it's only Spanish, teacher. In Spanish, ah, ok. Bueno, ahora ya lo puede, eh, va a poder escribir en inglés. <laughs> ok. Ok, okay. okay. that's actually very nice. Ok, guys, let's take a look. Um, so, con emails no cuesta tanto, no le damos tantas vueltas como en español, that saludos, espero que esté bien, te saluden, everything, you know. Los correos en inglés, normally, eh, por el idioma, por la forma de comunicación, son directos. So, emails are super direct. Mm, sí, son formales, you know, cordiales, pero directos. Eso eh, no decimos like a lot of things. Now, um, take a look at the following things. Vamos a ver un par de tips. ¿Qué es lo que debe de llamar? Llevar un email, right? What a formal email should have. Um, so, guys, take a look at this one. Eh, de las categorías that we have right here, ¿cuáles creen que debe de llevar un correo? What do you think we should include in an email? Estamos hablando de correos, eh, business emails, right? Correos formales. Or business ones. Teacher, excuse me. Um, yes. What do you refer when you say be brief or long? Um, be brief se refiere que sean cortos, precisos, concisos, or long correos bien extensos, like long emails, como con muchos detalles, like a lot of information. Mm. So let's take a look at those one, guys. For example, number one. Do not use all capitals. What do you think about this one? Do not use all capitals. Ustedes usan capitals? Usan letra mayúscula? Do you think it's a good recommendation? No, no. 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 We shouldn't, right? We shouldn't use capitals. Okay, so, oh, era el otro. That was the other one. Okay. Next one, avoid using the subject important. What do you think about this one? ¿Qué le ponen en el subject? ¿Qué le ponen como en el tema? In the, in the topic? Top secret. Why? Urgente. Urgente. So si le ponen urgent. So urgent, okay. Depends the situation, I guess. Uh -huh. oh, depends the situation. Memorando. Memorando. Okay. So, si yeah. le ponen memorando, like memo uh -huh. on top. Okay. Depende de qué es lo que estamos enviando. Puede ser un reporte. Le eh. ponen el nombre como tal, like no la palabra importante. No. Okay. Puede ser, eh, digamos que estamos Sorry. mandando un, mem un memorándum de, de una fecha que vas a suspender o un horario. Entonces, eso lo pone memorando ella. Ok. Ok, yeah, right. So important, creo que eso es como un, un um, hay un apartado donde le damos clic y aparece como importante, but we don't write it. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok. What about the next one, guys? Use a formal salutation. Escriben uh, como saludos formales. Do you write formal salutations? Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, you do. All right. Be brief. Sus correos son cortos. Are they yes. brief? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, right. No nos ponemos a chambrear. We don't go Corto in the claro. email. Directo. Cortos, claros, directos. All right. Express clearly. Ah, there you go. Express clearly what you're writing. Yes, right? Yes. yes. Son super claros. Okay. Do not use abbreviations. In Spanish, no tenemos muchas, but no, this no, is no. a good one. No usamos abreviaciones en emails porque son, hablamos de business emails. So, hablamos de correos formales. Y la última, don't use smileys. Guys, ¿alguien le pone emojis o stickers al correo? Oh, no. jamás. No. 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 Right. We don't Informal. Ajá, uh -huh, no. Jamás. No, me despiden, guys. Okay. <laughs> We don't do that. Okay, so take a look at these recommendations. Vamos a intentar seguirlos. We're going to try to follow them. And let's take a look at the example that we have below. Give me one second. Give me one second here. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, in page number 34, tenemos algunos pasos. We have a couple of topics or tips that we are going to follow. So, ayúdenme a leerlo, guys. Help me read it. Manuel, ayúdenme a leerlos acá abajo, please, with number one. Feel. Feel in the job subject language a topic relevant to your recipe. Recipient. Recipient. Mm -hmm. And not just document or respond important. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Como Lupita sí, le escriben la fecha, le escriben memo or something, pero no important, right? Sino something relevant. Pero Thank solamente you. que sea en correo que de prioridad, si no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, definitely. The, si no se pierden, too. Eh, Lupita, ayúdenme con el dos, please. Help me with number two. Number two, include a polite, uh, polite, polite mm -hmm. uh, salutation, salutation, example, example, there, Mister, mm -hmm. Miss, mm -hmm. good morning, mm -hmm. etc. Okay, thank you. Um, some. Sometimes it is important, but uh, guys, who say lo ponen, do you include in your emails like dear? Como apreciable señor, you know, le agregan like salutations right there? Yes, me. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, right. Normally it's just dear mister, el apellido, and that's it. Uh, recordemos que lo formal en inglés no es decir el nombre de la persona. Uh, for example, Miss Julie no es formal, but decimos Miss y el apellido, right? Mr. Méndez, Miss Méndez, Mr. Menjibar, Miss Menjibar. So we always call them by last name. Uh, Vane, ayúdenme con el siguiente, number three. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Thank you. Continue, please. Don't use all capital or a lower case Please. letters. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So, ni todas mayúsculas, ni todas minúsculas, right? Eh, Carla, continue, please. Number five. Avoid abbreviations. Example, P Please. L please. Mm -hmm. Yes. Continue, please. Number be six. Polite, be polite. Remember mm -hmm. to right please and thank you okay very nice thank you so much um mr castaneda continue please number seven uh, be bright if your message is too long consider using an attachment okay this is very important look at it guys be brief so decíamos que los correos son bien cortitos right so be brief o se han escuchado la palabra debrief Es como algo corto, like, un, algo super super corto. Now, ¿qué es un attachment? Si un correo Ajá, es muy largo, exacto, si un correo es muy largo, no lo vamos a poner como imágenes, por ejemplo, documentos, sino lo atachamos. So we, that is an attachment, right? Lo adjuntamos, that's the one. Number eight, so, um, Yvette, please continue. Use a clothing phrase like the readers. Readers looking forward to your Dear comments, comments etc. Mm -hmm. Continue, number nine. Okay. Uh -huh. Add a signature block, write appropriate contact information, your name, mm -hmm. address, and phone number. Okay, thank you so much. So, um, algunos ya tienen como la firma de la empresa, right? Cuando usamos el, el correo empresarial. So, esta es esta parte. Add a signature block. So, my name is like Julia Sarceño, mi número de contacto, or eh, el rango, right? O la posición en la empresa, o si hay algo más, we add it. Y la última, edit and proofread before you send a message. Edit and proofread solamente significa revíselo. Check it. Y luego lo enviamos. So, guys, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer right now? Vamos a intentar crear un correo. We're going to try to write an email. Me lo van a mandar a mí. You're going to send it to me, right? And look at it. For example, two. 
peter at mail.com subject saturday and subject tomorrow's meeting cuál creen que es mejor which do you think is more formal si le ponemos saturday or tomorrow's meeting tomorrow's meeting tomorrow's tomorrow's meeting, meeting right más específico now look at it remember we have to prepare everything for the event please don't forget the things see you is this formal is this formal informal that's informal right aparte que usamos see you look at it estamos usando contracciones now look at this robert remember that tomorrow we're having a meeting with it don't forget the documents oh preciso pero bien formal right ¿Qué le falta al segundo? What is missing here? ¿Qué le agregarían a este? La firma. Ok, la firma, the signature, ¿qué más? Es regards. Saludos. Ah, Saludos. regards. Ok, como use a closing. Le falta el, la, el, el saludo de despedida, right? So, el, o la de despedida, el saludo de despedida. Oh my God. So, el farewell. So, best regards regards or looking forward to your comments que son de los más comunes que usamos pero también le falta acá no tiene dear mister porque al parecer es alguien que conoce saludo uh -huh. so solamente es como robert pero actually en inglés no le ponemos o oh, el espero que estés bien you know, no le ponemos nada de eso solamente dear mister digamos que es apellido pérez dear mister pérez Coma, remember that tomorrow, y eso es todo. Or, le llamamos por el nombre directamente, Robert, remember that tomorrow, we're having a meeting with IT. So, vamos a escribir un correo súper cortito. ¿Qué vamos a agregar en el correo, guys? We're going to add these elements. Oh, solo les voy a pedir, please, no utilicen Google uh, Translator, <laughs> si no intenten ustedes escribirlo, right? Vamos a agregarle una intro or una salutation, right? Que puedo utilizar eh, dear, o puedo utilizar, what else, wait. Ay, no quiero escribir, wait. Dear, puedo utilizar eh, mi sarseño in this case, right? A word. Um, or you can find another way to say the salutation. Then the body, que es como para qué, like the reason, para que voy a escribirlo. Um, digamos, guys, que me van a escribir un correo, you're going to write a letter, porque no van a poder estar en clase, okay? So, a letter, an email. You're going to, like, type an email, right? Explicando o diciendo que no van a estar en clases o por qué no estuvieron en clases. You decide. Then, me, sal, me despido de closing, puedo solamente decir regards y ahí termino. That's it. Así de simple, guys. So, salutation, reason, and regards. So, un email súper corto. And at the end, no se les olvide agregarle lo que decía la recomendación, right? The recommendation, que es your signature. But your signature puede ser solo su nombre, your uh, phone number, or, um, como es un email formal, puede ser la información de su empresa, whatever you have. So, guys, les, do, les dejo mi correo. I'm going to leave my email address here. And uh, no les va a tomar más de tres minutos, cuatro minutos crearlo, I think. Y me lo envían. And you send it to me. Wait, me acuerdo de mi correo. I don't remember my email address. Oh my God. Okay, guys, there you go. So I am going to be the recipient. Envíemelo directamente a me. Send it to me. Oh, type it super quick. Escribanlo bien corto, bien preciso, right? Bien conciso. Don't complicate it much. And just send it over. Antes que terminemos la clase, please.
si no tienen su correo abierto o you don't remember your password or something, pueden escribirlo, le toman una captura y me lo envían. No worries either. So la idea es tener una idea de cómo van a ir. Um, to have an idea how the email is made. Thank you, Jorge. Ah, very nice. Okay. Okay. Mr. Lopez, that was a 
That was really nice, actually. That's a very nice email. Um, okay. Solamente you. yo le agregaría quizás, eh, well, no le agregaría, sino le, le cambiaría, quizás el I don't, eh, por okay. I can't. Okay. Como no puedo, right? I can't. I didn't. I can't. Oh, okay. or I didn't. No pude, ajá, uh, o no puedo. So, oh. lo demás, I, it's really nice. Y solamente eh, no, eh, no se le olvide uh, el I. Siempre va oh, con okay. mayúscula, no importa okay. dónde esté. No sé por qué tampoco. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That was good, capital. But very nice. Really good, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Oh, I got uh, Yvette. Thank you. Ah, okay. Very nice. I like it. Me gusta la signature. I like your signature. That's really nice. Okay. Eh, solamente con informing him. Quizás eh, le cambiaríamos como informing you. Uh -huh, so. Informing. Por el him. Okay. Mm -hmm. El him. Uh -huh, okay. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I like it. That's really nice. My apologies. Personal. Okay. Oh, David, that's really nice. Cool, I like it. Uh, David, very good. Eh, solamente con la palabra apologize. Eh, cuando decimos take my, sería my apologies. Um, so se le cambia la Z por la S. Es el único, la única cosita. Very nice. I like it. Mr. Romero. Wow, that's a really nice one. Creo que el, el, el autocorrector did not work that much. Creo que se me le unió un poquito, pero, uh, you know, like the idea is really nice. I like the ending too. Me gusta mucho el I hereby. Es bien formal. It's very formal. Luke. Luke creo que es Luis, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, that's all right. I'm going to check it out in a second. Okay, guys, very nice job. So, un email no tiene que ser como super difícil to make. Y no lo complicamos, right? Don't complicate it much. So, es super cortito as well. All right, guys. Síganme lo enviando, please. And si no lo pudieron enviar eh, y ya lo tiene listo, send it. No problem. I can check it out. And I'm going to reply back. Guys, antes de irse, solamente eh, les quito un momentito para tomar asistencia. And so I'm going to steal just one more minute here. Y me ayudan siempre con la confirmación um, verbal that you're here. So I have, let me see. Ya tomé algunos, solo I'm still missing with some people. Um, I have Isaías. I have Me Camilo. Siento. Thank you so much. I have David. Deborah too. Present I me. got Yvette. Thank you so much. Edwin just a king. Thank you. Griselda too. Present. Thank you, Miss. I have Jorge. Present, Miss. Eduardo. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carla. Uh, Mr. Castaneda. Gracias, Carla. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, uh, Mr. Cruz. Let me see. I have Lupita. And I have Manuel. Present, Miss. Thank you. I have Bane. Les mencioné dos, guys. Hay alguien que no haya mencionado. Thank you. No, right. Sure. I think we're good. Yes, uh, I got it. I got it. All right, guys. So amazing job. Thanks a lot, everybody, for being here. Thanks for the participation. Y gracias por los emails. Envíenmelos todavía quienes estén pendientes, please. Guys, no se les olvide para mañana terminar la lección o la sesión eh, número tres, right? Number three. Guys, tenemos programada la finalización para la próxima semana. 
So please, no, eh, no, se nos vaya, no nos vayamos quedando behind, right? Thanks, everybody. Que descansen. Enjoy your night. Have a good one. Night. And see you tomorrow, guys. Night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, me. See you tomorrow. See you. See you. Okay.